You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Welcome to another retake episode of Ask <laughs> Drone You. Probably our first one ever, actually, um, in 743 episodes. My yeah. name is Paul. And I'm Rob. Unfortunately, you won't see the original episode <laughs> as <laughs> originally recorded on this I one. didn't even know that we were going to stop recording and then redo the whole thing. And it was like, well, uh, no, no, and then stopped. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah. Forever. Right. It, w- it would have been uh, fun times. For who? <laughs> God. This is episode um, 743, and I'm elevated. I could use an elevated. Do you know what an elevated is? If not, you need to know what an elevated is. I'm going to have a couple of them at lunch. Let I me just put it that way. Um, it's just, he, he's a jerk. An elevated jerk. IPA is what he's talking about. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty solid beer. If you like pretty IPAs. Pretty solid? Anyways, okay. We uh, do have a question. We have a great question. But I misunderstood. <laughs> we're going to move past this. We're just going to... Uh, are we? We're, oh, yeah. We're, no, you kind of didn't, I'm, but I'm, go I'm ahead. I'm past it. I'm past it. Um, today, we are talking about Aeroscope. What can it see? What can't it see? Can you cheat the system? That is the question. It's not really the question, but... No, anyway. I don't think that's the question. Um, just maybe curiosity. But... Um, Anyway, let's just get right into today's question, uh, which is brought to you by our friends at MyEnergen.com. If you go to MyEnergen.com forward slash shop, that's my e n e r g e n dot com forward slash shop, they've got a lot of great battery chargers. And just yesterday, I was out flying the Mavic Pro uh, doing a review for LumCube when all my Mavic Pro batteries had passed away or died, however you look at it. And I really could have used the M10 charger that Energen has. I really could have. I mean, if I would have had one, it would have made my flying great again. And I don't know why I'm making all these jokes about things being great again. Either way, if you're like me and you need to charge your Mavic batteries more often than you think, you got to get an M10 battery charger. And use discount code DRONEUM10 at checkout to get 20 bucks off that charger. All right, let's hear that funky question. Again. Hey, Paul. Hey, Rob. Captain New Jersey. Quick question about DJI Aeroscope. If a drone is in Addy mode, no GPS mode, can Aeroscope still determine what its GPS location is? Or is that data not transmitted from the drone when the drone's in Addy mode? Just want to know. Thanks. Thank you, Ken, for question number, I'm not exactly sure, but a lot. Appreciate all the good questions that you send in. If you haven't won a free membership yet, you probably should or at least will because you get so many questions in. By the way, we do run that contest every 50 episodes. So for some of you that are new listeners, perhaps, if you get a question in, then you have an opportunity to win a free membership, an annual membership to DroneU. So get your questions in if you haven't already at AskDroneU.com. So do you th- interesting question, and I don't, I don't want to know what Ken's reasons for asking are. It's not important. But the question is, can Aeroscope see you if you're in Addy mode? Um, the answer is yes. Whether you're flying in Addy mode, sport mode, GPS mode, it doesn't matter. Aeroscope views the information from the telemetry sent by the command and control link from the drone itself to the remote. So unless you interrupt that link somehow or you you know, recode the drone or the root directory, which would be extremely difficult to do, Aeroscope will still be able to see your vehicle. Yeah. So it's it's kind of a simple answer, but it is true. Now, here's something I would like to take some time and correct. A lot of people are like, Aeroscope is horrible. It's bad. Don't want it. It's horrible. Aeroscope cannot actually interfere with the flight of your drone whatsoever. So if you're flying and some guy is like, I don't want that drone to fly anymore. Let's use Aeroscope to stop that drone. It's not going to stop the drone at all. It's just going to tell you where it is. And where the pilot is. There's not going to be any um, ability for Aeroscope to be like, all right, power down, red button. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now, sure if you that's were, possible. If you were using the Mesmer system by Department 13, you could be like, let's make a dome, an invisible 
shield where no drones will get past this shield. Hmm. That's possible. Interesting. With the Mesmer system. And, you know, a lot of airports now, Rob, are looking into these, um, you know, see and avoid systems like Aeroscope. But then a lot of airports are also like, well, wouldn't it be awesome if we had the ability to say you can't fly here and automatically land the drone? Well, DJI effectively does that now, right? I mean, they won't let you take off. Sort of the opposite of that, I guess. Um, they will not let you take off. That is correct. And if you come up to a certain point, won't it stop and go back home? Yes, but there are ways to bypass that. True. Now, True. Air, now Mesmer's system, even if that geofencing had been bypassed, Mesmer's system would still take over the drone and land the mm, drone. So you just totally lose control in that scenario. Yes. Yeah, that is a big difference. Yes. That's a big difference. And, it, and as far as aeroscope, it makes sense that it would read whether you're in attitude or whatever, because that's the whole point, that it's knowing where the drones are, regardless of what mode they're flying in. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So even though your drone isn't utilizing GPS for flight, it's still reading that data. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that's important to know. Sure. But anyway, uh, that was a great question, Ken. Uh, thank you very much um, for that. And if you have a question, go to askdroneu.com. Also, we'd love to hear more business questions as our business course is about to unveil. We've also got some big news coming out at the end of this week. We're very excited to announce. And there's just a lot going on here at DroneU. But if you have a question, go to askdroneu.com. And if you, if you feel like being a nice, guy, if, if you're a giver, if you're like Santa Claus, you like to do good things and put out happiness in the world, leave us a review wherever you listen to podcasts. That, if that's Apple Podcasts, Overcast, Stitcher, wherever, please leave us a review. We would greatly appreciate it. That is going to do it for us today, though. My name's Paul. And I'm Rob. This is Ask Drone You. Ask Drone You.